Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step addition and subtraction equations with negatives. Now, when we solve one-step equations with negatives, we solve them the same way we solve one-step equations that have only positives. We want to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself. And we do this by using the inverse operation, which means the opposite operation. Basically, we want to undo whatever is being done to the variable. That way, the variable is by itself on one side of the equation. And again, we do this by using the inverse or opposite operation. Just remember, whatever is done to one side of the equation, it must be done to the other in order to keep everything balanced and equal. Let's jump into number one where we have y plus 11 equals negative 20. Now we need to isolate that variable of y. We need to figure out what y equals. Since 11 is being added to y, we need to undo that addition by using the inverse operation, so the opposite operation. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So let's subtract 11 from the left side of the equation. Now whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced and equal. So let's subtract 11 from the right side as well. Now, if we take a look at the left side of the equation, we are adding 11 and subtracting 11. So these 11s cancel each other out. They equal zero. So y is now isolated. It's by itself. y equals, now on the right side of the equation, we have negative 20 minus 11. So we're starting with negative 20 and subtracting 11. So we are decreasing in value by 11. We end up with negative 31. So y equals negative 31. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, it's always an option to come to the side in order to figure out a problem. For example, negative 20 minus 11, we did vertically. You can come to the side and rewrite this horizontally if you prefer. Now when we subtract, we can add the opposite. So let's add the opposite here. Add the opposite. So negative 20 plus negative 11 gives us that negative 31. So again, you can always come to the side to show work or set up a problem differently. So something to keep in mind. So our solution for number one is negative 31. We can always check a solution by plugging it into the original equation. So let's plug negative 31 in for y and see if this works. Negative 31 plus 11 equals negative 20. So we're starting at negative 31 and adding 11. So we are increasing in value by 11. Negative 31 plus 11 does equal negative 20, so we have the correct solution. y equals negative 31. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative 12 equals b plus negative seven. We need to isolate that variable of b. Negative seven is being added to b, so we need to undo that addition by using the inverse operation. Let's subtract negative seven from the right side. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So let's subtract negative seven from the left side as well. Now, if we take a look at the right side of the equation, we are adding a negative seven and subtracting a negative seven. These negative sevens are going to cancel out and equal zero, but it's kind of difficult to think through when we are subtracting a negative. When we subtract a negative, we actually increase in value. And remember, we can add the opposite. That's going to make this simpler to think through and see how the variable ends up isolated. So let's add the opposite. Add, and then the opposite of negative seven 
is positive 7. So whenever we subtract a negative, we can add a positive. So now we have a negative 7 and a positive 7. These 7s cancel out. They equal 0. So the variable is now isolated. B equals, and then on the left side we have negative 12 minus negative 7. Let's add the opposite. Add the opposite. Negative 12 plus a positive 7 equals negative 5. So B equals negative 5. We can rewrite this with the variable coming first. And remember, we can always come to the side in order to show work or set up a problem differently. For example, let's do negative 12 minus negative 7 off to the side and set it up horizontally. Let's add the opposite. So add the opposite. Negative 12 plus a positive 7 gives us negative 5. Now let's check that solution of negative 5 and plug it in for b. So negative 12 equals negative 5 plus negative 7. Negative 5 plus negative 7 does equal negative 12, so we have the correct solution. b equals negative 5. There's how we solve one-step addition equations with negatives. Let's move on to subtraction. Here are our examples of one-step subtraction equations with negatives. Let's jump into number one where we have j minus 14 equals negative 10. We need to isolate that variable of j. We need to figure out what j equals. Since 14 is being subtracted from j, we need to undo that subtraction by using the inverse operation. So the opposite operation. The opposite of subtraction is addition. So let's add 14 to the left side of the equation. Now whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So let's add 14 to the right side as well. Now on the left side, we are subtracting 14 and adding 14. So these 14s cancel out they equal zero. The variable is now isolated. J is now by itself. So we have J equals, and then on the right side of the equation, we have negative 10 plus 14. We are starting at negative 10 and increasing in value by 14. So we end up with positive four. J equals four. Now, one thing I do want to mention, we always have the option to come to the side in order to show work or set up a problem differently. For example, negative 10 plus 14, we solved vertically, so up and down. If you prefer to work through that horizontally, you can always rewrite the problem off to the side. So negative 10 plus 14, that equals four. So you always have that option. Now, j equals 4. That's our solution. We can always check a solution and make sure it works by plugging it into the original equation. So let's plug 4 in for j and see if this works. So 4 minus 14 equals negative 10. 4 minus 14 does equal negative 10, so we have the correct solution j equals 4. Let's move on to number 2 where we have 18 equals g minus negative 3. We need to isolate that variable of g. Negative 3 is being subtracted from g. We need to undo that subtraction by using the inverse operation. The inverse of subtraction is addition. So let's add negative 3 to the right side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So let's add negative three to the left side as well. Let's take a look at the right side of the equation. Now, when we subtract a negative, 
we are actually increasing in value. So we are increasing G's value by three. So by adding negative three to that side of the equation, these cancel out and equal zero. So our variable of G is now isolated. So G equals, and then on the left side of the equation, 18 plus negative three equals 15. So G equals 15, and we can rewrite that with the variable coming first. Now, if we look back up at the right side of the equation, that can be a little confusing to think through because it looks like we have negative three plus negative three, which would equal negative six, not that zero, which isolated our variable. But keep in mind, when we subtract a negative, we increase in value. So G is increasing in value by three. By adding a negative three to that side of the equation, we are canceling that increase out to equal zero, and our variable was isolated. Here is an easier way to think about it. Whenever we subtract a negative, we can think of this as adding a positive. And remember, when subtracting, we can always add the opposite, so this works out. We can actually rewrite this as 18 equals g plus 3, g plus a positive 3, because again, we can add the opposite. So add, and then the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So you can always rewrite the equation if you're subtracting a negative to add a positive. Let's go through the rewritten equation and see if we still get 15. We need to isolate G. Three is being added to G, so let's undo that addition by using the inverse operation, which is subtraction. Let's subtract three from the right side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other, so subtract three from the left side as well. On the right side, we are adding three and subtracting three, so these threes cancel out. G is now isolated. So G equals, and then on the left side, 18 minus three, that equals 15. So G equals 15 that way as well. And I do wanna mention one more time that we can always come to the side in order to show work or set up a problem differently. For example, let's do 18 plus negative three horizontally, so side to side. 18 plus negative three. 18 plus negative three equals 15. Let's check that solution of 15 by plugging 15 in for G in the original equation and see if this works. So we have 18 equals 15 minus negative three. Since we are subtracting a negative, we are increasing in value. 15 minus negative three does equal 18. And we can always add the opposite, so add and then the opposite of negative three is positive three. So 15 plus positive three gives us 18 as well. We have the correct solution. G equals 15. So there you have it. There's how you solve one step addition and subtraction equations with negatives. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.